Hello guys, we're back with some more Carol. I know I left for quite some time, but we're back at it again. So today we're looking at Carol Can't Turn Right. Now this is a very short unit, it's only like one assignment. Oh, it's two, okay, okay never mind. Anyways, <clears throat> let's let's hop right into it, okay? Very simple, as you may have seen from the previous videos, I may have gone a bit over the top sometimes with the whole functions and stuff, but I'm going to try to keep that to a bare minimum now. So, let's just do what Code Academy is telling us to do. Um, <clears throat> so, we got all of this code up here. This is This is an example, okay? All of this code over here, this is like the main code. I still, however, even though I'm not going to talk about functions that much... I still want you to use the start function so it doesn't throw you over when you start seeing it more often. It also makes our code look a bit more pretty, so pfft, why not? <laughs> so, yeah. What's going on in this example is basically there's a function called turn right. And what this is going to do is what we've, we've, what, what I've previously done that is make Carol turn left three times. By turning left three times, it's the same as if she would have turned right, which she can't do at the moment. So if I press run right now, Carol is going to do the whole tower building, and then at the end, instead of three turn lefts, it's just going to use a turn right function. Now, as previously discussed, the whole point of functions is the sake of keeping you sane. If you had to repeat turn right six times for some reason, instead of writing turn left 18 times, you're just going to write turn right six times. So it makes things way more easier and it allows you to loop way quicker further down the line. So let's click onto the actual first assignment. I haven't opened it all, but it shouldn't be hard because, come on, it's Carol. So, <clears throat> she is going to put a ball, then come to the bottom, to the center, put another ball, and then come down again and put another ball. So, what we're going to do here is, of course, start with our function start. Oops. Fung I misspelled that. There we go. So, now that we have our start function, we're going to go to line 1. And we're gonna write function turn. Oh my God! What's wrong with me? Turn right. <clears throat> Apologies. And now we're gonna write turn left. Turn left. Turn left. <clears throat> turn left. <clears throat> and now in the start, we're gonna make Carol put a ball. And then we're going to make Carol move, turn right, <clears throat> move, put a ball, oops, uh, move, turn left, move and we're gonna finish with a last put ball now as you can see here the only difference in this code is that we saved two lines of code by using turn right and now if I play, press run Carol is gonna put the ball move turn right move put a ball move move put a ball if I would have done it the other way so that Carol goes from here to here and then from here to here and then she has to turn left, wait, uh, move, turn right, turn left, move, turn right. So I could have saved up to four lines of code by using the function turn right. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> the next assignment is Fireman Carol. So Carol is here. And we need to make her be down here, facing the left. 
So pretty easy. Function turn right. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Now after that, we can do our function start. <clears throat> and then when when the when the program starts running, you know when when it starts, when we press run, we're going to have Carol turn right first. And then we're going to have her move. In fact, here just to save in more code, I'm going to make an extra function. Don't worry, nothing to over the top. So she's going to move one, two, three times. Function T move. So move, move, move. So I can close that function. And here we're going to call it T move. And then when she's all the way to the bottom, when she rotated, when she moved, we're going to have to turn left one last time. So now we're going to run it. And there we go. So now the last thingy for this little uh, unit, it's uh, an exercise. Why is it useful to teach Carol new commands like turn right? As previously discussed, wait, can I? Yeah, no, it's not. Uh, number one, like first point, simplicity. Or well, let me write sanity. Because you do not want to write the same seven lines of code every time you want to do something repeatedly. Okay? And when we start getting into loops and stuff, you will see how convenient it is to use function functions. Uh, number three, uh, it keeps the code clean. Okay? When your code is clean, it's easier to read. And it's easier to understand what is what, what goes where, what does what, you know? So sanity, cleanliness, and then again, time. This kind of relates to sanity, but you're going to save so much time and so much space on your console by simply doing functions and then calling those functions instead of, as said previously, repeating the same 8 to 10 lines of code every time you want to call that code. So that pretty much sums it up for today. A really short video, but still, this pretty much helps us look over the why of the functions, you know, the, the importance of having functions. So <clears throat> the next video we're going to do, oh, no, we're not doing this. We can pretty much skip this. So next video. One second, please. We're going to keep going through unit one. Oh, wait, no. We're going to start unit two. We're going to start in functions with Carol. Have several assignments and exercises. And then, then we'll just go from there on out. So please hit a like if it helped you. Subscribe. Share with anybody that might need this information. And see you next time.